I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is your quick look at the stories we covered this week that you need to read. Gold has spent a lot of time in the spotlight in recent weeks, but with the yellow metal now closer to 1500 per ounce than 1550, other commodities have been able to move to the forefront. This week, Pala Investments raised its offer to acquire Cobalt 27 Capital by $30 million. Pala Investments' original offer came in at $506.2 million, and some market watchers felt that it undervalued the company. In other battery metals news, Lithium Americas raised its production target for Kachari Olaraz, saying that it will now produce 40,000 tons per year of battery quality lithium carbonate, up from 25,000 tons. Lithium Americas is developing the project in partnership with major miner Ganfeng Lithium. It's worth noting that last week Lithium Americas cut the production target for its Thacker Pass project by 10,000 tons. Cannabis highlights this week include the news that the Canadian marijuana industry added $8.26 billion to the country's GDP in July. That number has been rising steadily since legalization in October of last year when cannabis contributed $7.02 billion to the country's GDP. Cannabis market watchers are now looking forward to the second phase of legalization. Edible products will become legal in Canada this month, but the expectation is that they won't become available to purchase until mid-December. This week, the INN team continued to post content from the Extraordinary Future Conference held recently in Vancouver. Among others, we spoke with Pepper Esports about how esports viewing is becoming more mainstream and with Verify Technology, which is helping companies use data to present information about themselves in new ways. Finally, in the life science sector, New Link Genetics announced this week that it will partner with Lumos Pharma to set up a new company focused on treating rare diseases. A key focus of the new company will be to advance Lumos Pharma's treatment for pediatric growth hormone deficiency. That's all for this week. Tune in next week when we tell you more about what's going on in the resource, cannabis, tech, and life science spaces. In the meantime, you can follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or click below for our free report or any article mentioned in this video. See you next week.